Tonight, in a city that's still mostly underwater, residents of Beaumont face yet another night without any kind of running water. They waited in long lines today, in fact, just to get a single case of bottled water, and this is what they need to use to drink, to cook, and to even bathe. It is such an expected and often overlooked part of our daily lives, water. It's hard to imagine it not being there, but that's reality for them. And our Marianne Martinez spent this evening with one Beaumont woman to give us all a little bit of a reality check. She begins our team coverage tonight from Beaumont. The lack of water has all but paralyzed the city. Most businesses are closed, and the few that are, it's fairly obvious. They're overrun by people. Not a whole lot coming from Patricia Abbott's faucet in Beaumont. We have a slight little trickle. She's surviving with bottled drinking water, wet wipes, and neighbors. She hasn't had a proper shower in days. I have got a whole pile of these things that you have in the hospital for doing a bed bath <laughs> and we're using those at the moment and plenty of perfume. Most businesses including grocery stores are closed. Even hospital patients were being airlifted out. Some residents have left to neighboring towns that do have water. It's honestly put our city in an emergency situation more so than it was just with the flooding that we were having prior to the loss of the water supply. The city is handling the crisis by handing out cases of water. All day long, cars queued up to get theirs. Churches and nonprofits stepping up to help people who are just barely hanging on. It's going to be okay, man. It's going to be okay. God bless you. The city says it is working around the clock to try to get the water restored, but still no timeline. Now, the two main sources of water for the city are actually flooded underwater right now because of Harvey. They're bringing in pumps to try to get the water out of there and the water restored. Reporting from Beaumont, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.